Hi, my name is Altaf Mala. I'm the RFID product manager for RFD 8500 device. I'll introduce you to the uh, basic overview of the switches and LEDs of the 8500 and then go into the pairing status of the uh, how to pair this device to a mobile computer. There are two basic RFID configurations. Uh, one that is with the imager and then one without the imager RFID only unit, RFID unit with the scanning option or the imager option. Let me take you through the uh, switches and LEDs on this mobile device as the first part of the segment and then we'll do the pairing, the second part. Um, on, on this RFD 8500, uh, we have three switches, um, a power LED, power switch, uh, also has an LED built into the switch. Second switch is the mode switch. The mode switch allows you to toggle the operation between scanning and RFID. And then we have a third switch, which is the Bluetooth switch and shows the Bluetooth status and allows you to put the reader into a Bluetooth pairing or discovery mode and we'll show you how to do that. And each of these buttons have LEDs integrated to show the status of either the power or the charging LED. The, uh, the mode button shows the function in which whether you're scanning or you are in RFID mode and then the Bluetooth LED shows that status. So those three switches all integrated with three LEDs respectively showing uh, the indications which we'll show you in a moment. And then also um, I want to point out that there is a connector here which is the USB connector. It's, uh, useful to uh, do uh, uh, charging, uh, but also can be used for configuring and updating the scanner with the scan1232 and other things, and in the future can be used for data communication. One more LED on this device at the back end of the, of the, re uh, of the reader, it's the uh, decode LED or RFID LED as we may call it, so it shows, shows upon success. Uh, the, uh, the indication of whether you have read a barcode or whether you're reading RFID tags. So that covers the, uh, the basic UI. And now let's, uh, similarly, this device has the same uh, concept except with one difference, the RFID only unit. Uh, there is no LED on the uh, mode button or the function button as it's called on this unit because there is no switching uh, between uh, an imager or an RFID because it's an RFID only unit. So uh, there is no LED status, but the combination of these buttons like the function button along with the power button to do soft reset and other things, uh, other advanced functions are available which are readily seen in our, ma available in our manual. But let me go through some basic operations of LED behavior now. Hi, let me show you uh, the workings of the uh, 8500 uh, switches and LEDs. Uh, let me first power the device up. Easy to press. You just press the uh, so these two latches here, slide it down, take the battery, go at an angle, and just press it down here. Notice the power on beep, 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 beep. Well, close the uh, device up. As you will notice, uh, the power LED is uh, turned on green. Uh, the Bluetooth LED is uh, flashing. It will flash for about 40 seconds, um, keeping the device in a paired mode so you can pair a mobile device to the R8500 uh, when the Bluetooth is flashing. Uh, notice the uh, mode LED uh, status. Uh, it's in the RFID mode, which means the uh, status LED is off. Uh, if I pull the trigger, there is no scanning or imaging action happening at this point. In order to toggle to the scanning mode, just press the, uh, the mode button switch for one second. As you can see, the light turned on green, which shows that it, which the status indication shows now that it is in the scanning mode. So if I pull the trigger, you will see that the uh, imaging uh, LED is on, so you can actually scan barcodes at this point of time. You can uh, toggle it back to the RFID mode by a simple press of the switch for one second, and now 
Now it is no longer in the scanning mode, and now you can read RFID tags. Uh, also, um, you will notice that the Bluetooth LED continues to flash over the next 40 seconds. When the 40 seconds will expire, it will turn off. Um, at that point, as, it's, as you can notice here, it's already turned off. Uh, in order to put it back into the pairing mode, just press the, the switch for one second, and uh, the Bluetooth LED will continue to blink further until you have paired with the mobile device. The battery charge status is indicated by the uh, power LED here. Uh, notice uh, it's green at this point, which means that the charge of the battery is 20% or higher. Anywhere between 20% and 100%, it will be solid green uh, during operation. Once it falls below 20%, this LED will turn into amber solid color, which means your when it's amber, the charge status on the battery is somewhere between 10% and 20%. And when it falls below 10%, the LED will indicate solid red, which means it is below 10%. So once again, charge status below 10% red, between 10 and 20% amber, and then about 20% solid green.